What's up YouTube? My name is Rochelle and I have too many cash envelopes. <laughs> so in today's video, I want to condense down. I want to make things make sense for our 2023 budget. So you're going to see me get rid of some cash envelopes, some sinking funds, and just repurpose some categories to make them work for our current lifestyle. If that's something you want to see, then stick around. Okay, so I was getting ready for my next cash stuffing video and I realized that I really wanted to prioritize this video first. I really want to look at my categories and repurpose, switch some things up. You know how it is. So first off, let's look at my sinking funds category. And I pulled out the money for my next cash stuffing and set it there too because I only have 50s and 20s. That way, if I want to move some cash around and make some change, I can do that. First up is my Amazon cash envelope. So I'm just going to pull these out because we're getting rid of some of these guys. I counted, I have 23 cash envelopes just in my sinking funds cash binder alone. And we don't need these anymore. A lot of them we just don't need. Take Amazon for instance. Amazon is our, this is for our membership that we pay annually. And right now it has $40 in it. But now that we're using this new style of banking, um, using our HELOC to fund our lifestyle and help us to save and help us to pay down debt more quickly. We just don't need this category anymore. So I'm setting it off to the side, not to say it's going to, you know, never, ever, ever work again, but we just don't need it right now. Um, and that's $40 that I can repurpose um, in a, into another category. So um, that's what we're going to do. Next is my beauty category, which has $120. I want to keep this cash envelope. This funds all of my beauty stuff for myself and my daughter. If we want to get our nails or our toes did, or if I want to pay to get my hair done, which I do it myself now, but sometimes I want to do um, a check-in with my loctician and make sure that my hair is still um, A1 and make sure my grid is right. I do have sister lock, so that is an investment. So we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one, y'all. We'll keep it right here. Next is car insurance. Car insurance has 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 360. We definitely want to keep this because in 2022, I paid for our car insurance passively just by cash stuff in this one envelope every week with you guys. And it was one less expense that my husband had to worry about coming out of his paycheck. I used my income to fund that. So now we pay for our car insurance every six months and it's the mall. Next is car registration, which has 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, $300. This is yet another expense that I have started to take on myself just by cash stuffing a little each week. And car registration is very expensive here in Hawaii. It's annual and it's about $500 a year just for us since we drive a car a heavy car it's based on the weight of your car so we'll keep that one too next up is escrow i'm not going to be tracking escrow money anymore if there's any expense for our rental property again it comes from the heloc so bye bye cash envelope next up is our daughter eva i really want to fund this a lot more right now it has 60 dollars so we are going to definitely keep this. This covers all of her expenses for clothing, shoes, even toys or anything she might want to do that's artsy. Anything that's not homeschool related, I do pull it from this cash envelope. So there's just certain categories I want to hit a little harder. Her investing one, I am going to pull out. Um, and I will just pull this cash envelope out when she chooses to reopen her shea butter business. She opens a few times a year. It's almost March, so I know she'll get back into it. Um, she likes to just take a break from it and there's nothing wrong with that. So I will stick this up here to go back to the bank to invest for her. Next is fund money, which has $50. I don't really need this cash envelope anymore. So we're gonna put this $50 into our restuff category. Next up is gifts. Gifts is a category that I do want to keep. It has $60 and I want to be really like a little more strict and intentional with myself in this category and really just buy gifts for the people that I really, really, truly care about in my life. So I'm going to be funding this a lot harder, but I'm going to be more responsible with it. Next is our guest category. 
it has 50 70 90 95 100 dollars i really want to keep this category also this is for when we have visitors who come to visit us in hawaii and one of the things that gets me time and time again is really when people come visit you or they come to hawaii to come on vacation you technically are on vacation too because you're spending time eating out with them driving around the island and all of that is an extra expense so we're responsible next is hawaii it has $25. We're going to pull this out. This is a category that I only use when we are saving for something big that we need to purchase um, on the island, such as like if we move and have to pay the security deposit or if we bought a car, something really big. So I'm going to set this off to the side because we don't have any large purchases anymore for the year other than travel. Next up is health. It has 50, 100, 120, 140, 160. We're definitely keeping this category. It has been a lifesaver for paying for co-pays and all that jazz. Next is house and hygiene. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. And this goes towards any expense I may have um, for the house. So toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff. We'll definitely keep that. LV. LV, I'm going to retire it has $25 and I just don't need it y'all I have everything I need as far as Louis products and none of my products are giving me any trouble and I actually have um, gone ahead and stored them safely because I just don't need them right now Mike has 50 70 90 we are definitely keeping this cash envelope and we're going to be stuffing it a lot more because he works really hard and I just want to be able to do things and take him places you know how it is like I just want to do what I want when I want to so um month ahead has 20 40 60 80 90 95 dollars we don't need this month ahead fund anymore because because we now use the other type of banking style. So setting that off to the side and repurposing this money. Next is property emergency fund and property stuff, which are both empty and we will not be tracking that money any longer. Next is my cash envelope. It has $140. I'll definitely keep this. This is for anything I just want to spend money on as far as clothes, shoes, anything like that. Next is my row investing. It has $20. I'm going to send that to the bank so that I can deposit it and invest it. I will keep this cash envelope. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Huh. The goal is really debt payoff right now. I do have automatic money that goes towards my investments monthly that comes out of my bank account. So I'm not going to use this cash envelope for now. We're going to really just try to dial down and focus on just the things that we truly truly need so if i'm already investing i don't need to invest again already so self-care especially while you have debt it's really more important to focus on the debt y'all self-care has 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 we're definitely keeping this my husband and i i'm so glad that we are on the same wavelength about self-care we do not play about self-care we honestly used to get take our little spa time weekly um it's as long as you stay away from those um, expensive spas that are like hundreds of dollars every time you want to go and get treatments, um, you actually can find some deals. I was able to find a couple of spas that are willing to um, give us discounts because we come so often and there's two of us. And so I build the build the relationship and you can really find you some deals. My husband and I spend a hundred dollars total for us to get our spa treatments monthly. So. It's definitely worth it and that's for more than one session so if you like I said if you find somebody keep them keep them next is taxes which has 20 40 45 dollars we are going to repurpose this money because my husband's w-2 I now pay for that to be done whenever I get my taxes done so we will retire this cash on and then it is our Tesla uh, sinking fund, which has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390. We are definitely keeping this. This is the reason why I have been able to cash flow every expense that has happened with our car. Um, so far, it's only been to replace tires. And it's just a good feeling knowing that we had that money just sitting and waiting and not having to use any, pull any money from our um, bank account or any future budgets. Okay, so let's count this up. Just for reference, we started with 23 cash envelopes. We now have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, y'all, we have cut at least almost half, almost half of our cash envelopes down. And I'm feeling really good about this. This, These are the ones that I care about. So I am happy with this. Let me know in the comments, are there any categories that you feel like you could remove from your um, sinking funds, from your cash envelopes? Are there some that you think you should switch out or change or add? And details will be in the description if you want those cash envelopes. They are by Shonversation. Her shop is on Etsy and link is always in the bio so you can just hop right over and it actually comes with a coupon code so um if you use my name i think it's rochelle a you get you some shmoney off so do that do that next up let's talk about my business cash envelopes for rochelleadamson.com if you remember i had my daughter clear these off because i knew this video was coming soon so we are going to condense these cash envelopes also Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cash envelopes. We really don't need this many for my business. There's four main categories that I noticed that I focus on, five max. And so the first one is this one. This is my money that I would pay myself um, and any income that I might have or that I might want to save. So in this category, we have 100, 200, 300, 400 online plus 20 in cash. Um, I do have an update on this cash envelope and now actually has 200. So we'll take away two and we will keep this. And we're going to mark it. We're going to label it. We're going to label this as We'll just say row that way i know that it's for me and it has 220 dollars and this is as of 228 perfect next is our taxes it has 1100 this is a category that i switched to online because i just I just wanted to play it safe because the numbers jump really quick. So for this, um, I feel like there's an update for this one too. Yes, this now has $1,800. So we need to grab some more prop money. So seven, eight. Oh, we got a peso up in there, 50 pesos, nice. So I just want to keep up with this. My red roses, y'all, they're finally rosing on me, acting like roses. I'm finding rose petals everywhere. <laughs> I love them, they are still holding on. It's just little pieces now, 100, one, 11, 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay. So we will definitely keep these cash envelopes and these cash envelopes are made by so crafty Sanaa. so we'll say tax and we have 1800 as of 228 no promises that i'm always going to write on the backs of these but we'll see next up let's see this is my P.O. box because it has $60. I am going to set this money to the side because we're going to combine some cash envelopes. So I'm not, I don't need this P.O. box envelope. Let me set that off to the side. Next, I have $5. This is for giving. We are definitely keeping this. I like to just set some money to the side for giveaways. Plus five. Next, this one has 20, 40, 60, 65. So this is my spending envelope. We are definitely keeping this one. So I am simplifying my cash envelopes. Instead of saying what I'm spending the money on, I'm just saying period is a spending envelope <laughs> for buying. So plus 65. 
gives us 65. Then let's see what is next. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90 dollars. So this is my bills cash envelope, which we are definitely keeping. Next, I think we're going to just empty out the rest of these because I don't plan on using these cash envelope categories. That one was $20 for office purchases. This is $25 for miscellaneous purchases. This is $40 for products. And this is $25 for equipment. So we don't need that anymore. Now all we need are these. Look at that, look how much more sense that makes. So now we just have these categories. And what we're gonna do is, first I'm gonna pay myself. <laughs> That's just how I am, guys. It's just how I am. We're gonna give myself $25. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 245. And I tried to pay myself online, but I just noticed that I saved more for myself in cash. That's just how I go. That's how I go. Okay. Then I definitely want to add money to bills. And so spending is going to get 20. No, it's not spending. Let me see. Bills. Let's combine the office money, which was 20, the miscellaneous, which was 25. And that's it. So we'll contribute another 45 to this category. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 135. So plus 45 is 135. And then now spiv spiving, spending is going to get what the products had which was 40 the equipment had at least 20 and we'll just do everything but a 20 so now that comes to 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 145 my goal is to always be saving for the next product so 145 So what is that? Y'all, when it's a five, wouldn't forget about it. I can't count it. That means we added 80. And then the last category we're going to contribute to or restuff is this one. It now has 25 in giving. Oh, this feels so good. So now these are officially my new categories for my business. Highly recommend doing this. It's such a satisfying feeling. And honestly, the amounts being higher, it just makes more sense that I can contribute to these, to these categories consistently and make sure that I'm covered. Now, that's not to say that I won't uh, you know, add categories along the way, but for now, this is where we are. So we have cut down to just five categories. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've cut them in half. Now the rest of these cash envelopes I think stay the same. These are my savings challenges. I usually do about nine to nine to ten savings challenges throughout the year. That doesn't mean that I'm contributing to them all each month. Um, and of course. Since we're talking about it, getting ready for March, I have my March Madness Savings Challenge. If you have not gotten your free printable cash envelope, definitely go to my website, roshoadamson.com and grab yours so you can join in the fun. This is the Savings Challenge that 
we have done the past couple of years as a community and I just love watching everybody's videos. It helps me to find new uh, videos to watch, new channels to watch. And so that's the part I love the most is connecting with more people. And it's a way to um, use the same hashtag so that everyone's videos populate under that hashtag. And it just helps so that you find more channels that you might be able to relate to. Maybe you like my videos and you're looking for someone else who has this, the same type of budget and style or whatever the case may be. So that will definitely be one we contribute to. Let me see. I'm just going to put it in the back just because I, I need to see the rules on the back. This was made by an anonymous professional cash envelope maker. I, I think you technically could guess who it is, but they want to remain anonymous. Um, this savings challenge goes from March 1st to March 31st. The details are on the back. And um, since we'll be writing on the back, I just want to put it in the back. So no change there. Then we have my travel cash envelopes. I don't think I will be making any changes here. I have eight cash envelopes. This funds our entire trip whenever we travel. Um, and I just, I love this, this style of budgeting for travel. It is unmatched. Then we have my sister locks cash envelopes, which I will label. So I will make this one grow because I know that's the first one, it's empty. Then this one, this is definitely tax money. Let's see if there's an update on this. It should be at least $1,300 electronically. So we need to add another prop dollar. Prop, honey, honey, honey. So tax, online tax money has 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 plus 80 in cash. Because sometimes my clients do pay me in cash. So I want to make sure that I'm budgeting. And y'all, I just did my tax. Uh, we're not getting a return, which actually was my goal. I'm tired of overpaying for taxes throughout the year. And I really want to get to the point where I am building a business that makes sense for us. And for us, I don't want to owe anybody. And so the balance that we owed is the money that I had set aside to pay for our taxes. Anyway, it was only actually like half. But the unfunny part, because I was like, oh, that means I get to restuff like half of my, you know, money that I've been saving throughout all 2022. But y'all, Micah owed. I was like, this is a first. My husband has never owed. Okay, well, not in 10 plus years. And so he owed because I forgot that he got a job promotion and he did not change his deduction. So there goes my my money but it's okay it's all right good thing i really really like i don't just love him i like that dude but this one has 20 25 30 35 dollars and this is our supplies category so i will still count this year as a man 2022 doesn't owe me anything i owe the irs they don't owe me anything <laughs> 20, 25 30 35 35 in this one also and this is for fees i have registrations and things whatever business filings licensing regulation anything legal i'll just call it fees so that is my simplified look at my sister locks cash envelopes then i also have my 10th savings challenge which is my 25 envelope um savings challenge that I absolutely adore. I mean, these are premium cash envelopes that you can reuse over and over again. Definitely check out my website, RochelleAdamson.com, if you want to secure you one. But we're loving it. We're saving money together. I think you save $325 every time you stuff each envelope. And that is it. I feel so much better about these cash envelopes. So even though I still have the same amount of binders, they're still less. Like these two especially we condensed today. Look at that. I feel really good about that. All right. That is that part of the of this video today. That is that part. That is the video for today. The other money, the $280, I will restuff that along with my, na my next cash stuffing. And I will go ahead and put this money back in the bank so that we can invest toward our future. Thanks for tuning in with me. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace, love, and budgets.